Hi guys, welcome. I was um, helping someone on Discord about GNOME and about, um, again, the luge. But um, the thing is, uh, let me include as well that if you, if I think about GNOME, I think about Wayland and I think about the issues that sometimes people have with Wayland in VirtualBox, for example, or with certain applications. So always be on your guard uh, if you choose GNOME. There are three buttons there, there to log in, and I chose I choose always GNOME for Xorg. That said, I did test my Deluge. So let me just quickly show you so the user on Discord sees it again. That's working fine. So it's a torrent, and I've explained it in another video. What I'll do now is have some fun. <laughs> what I'll do is just um, change some things around and um, make GNOME my own thing. So we have here activities, we have here all kind of buttons, we have the show applications, first of all maybe the icons. The icons, mm, lots of icons of course to be installed but maybe you know already that we have adopted more or less the pseudo pacman minus s article x candy beauty and there are two guys development and the normal guy so we're going for the normal guy now how do i change my icons this is actually not so well thought through i don't know uh, everybody has has entitled on his own over on his own opinion so to speak but in here there is not much to be changed except maybe a nice background that we going to change right now and then some notifications so it really is a lot in here but changing icons and backgrounds okay done that the mouse cursor okay let's have a look mouse speed natural scrolling where's the theme keyboard yes belgian that's cool printers i have my printer ready no active jobs so removable media color changes region accessibility users default where are my icons where's my theme so i want to have more tweaks the gnome tweaks is what we need to do extensions has moved okay thank you to gnome extensions we recommend downloading the gnome extension from flathub uh, and so on okay animations and so on Suspend when laptop lit is closed. This is a desktop, never mind. Appearance. Here we are. So, arc dark. In this case, we've been very, very, very minimal. So, the Arclix B ISOs are always minimal. And that's on your own demand that we've done that, right? So, if we type software, not dogware. <laughs> okay software okay then we have choices here this is gnome uh, software manager and this is pamac i want to go for pamac and go for arc something we have arc block blackest whoa arc darkest rgdk and so on fine but what doesn't come out is arco linux arc okay so we've got this sky, which is sky, the sky is blue, right? In Belgium more, uh, more gray, but okay. Let's be optimistic, the skies are blue. So the sky option here, if we, yep, we gotta reload this. If we um, launch that one, or we install that one, we get more choices. So arc dark, we have arc dawn dark, so here we see a little bit of color. Control Shift Enter. So that's the dawn dark, and that's the blue sky dark. A little bit light, brighter or lighter. I'm gonna go for this one. And on the side of the arc is out. I'm gonna. That's important that you see this here. Some explanation about icons it's it's a it will be a video about all kinds of things right because i have so much to share user share icons 
this is the official name and that's the locomotive in here is nothing symbolic links there's the cache and there's index team and it's the index team that matters the index team says okay go get everything from al beauty line the reason being this is all created that if the developer creates the developer from beauty line and the developer from candy icons create more icons i compare this folder yeah melt with their folder and i get in the stuff that i like i don't like everything i make choices all the time and then i say okay let's get this in let's get that in don't want that don't want that don't want that and then we have our own theme our own icon theme so basically my message to you that's why i'm explaining it to you is you can't select well you can choose freedom right but this is not the point to select this one nor this one actually the only appropriate one is this one that's how it was intended to look this is our look this is the beauty line look it will differ in 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 icons for applications but not here but this one i believe will change i never liked this look so it's there as a as a backup but i don't want it so it's um whoa, this one so this one is the one i like so first all the packages all the applications and the icons are coming from beauty line you see so that's why i explain it to you in gnome we see this in in other distributes and other desktops we don't see it in xfc we don't see it i have hidden it gnome shows it <laughs> hey don't look at me right but now you know article scan the beauty that's actually the way it's intended to be and if we click here we have these icons up here let's have a look if everything is nice so this guy needs to be developed so that's actually up to him right not to up to us for some icons i will make a symbolic link but this is very specific gda browser gda control center the gnome pie has to be created still but he's working on it so let's just wait and see shell is not possible sound is default image is disco hex it seems zoom and zoom and we go for fonts maybe a little bit more i made other videos saying hey fonts matter why not try droid sans mono what why not document text let's go all for droid sans mono droid sans mono regular this guy and mono space some mono font ubuntu mono bolt why not it's just a font it's not a name i mean it's just a font legacy window titles let's stick with the same thing everywhere but you don't have to mono you can keep keep typing so voila select keyboard and mouse keyboard and mouse keyboard and mouse default acceleration so here we do have an option people ask me sometimes is there no acceleration profile the more you get into a desktop the more you will be able to do that if you're on tiling when it matters you have to figure it out what code how what application how to set it and it's gonna go well it's gonna be more difficult you need to research arch wiki mouse acceleration what do you get on the internet touchpad don't have it and so on startup applications top bar activities overview better the battery percentage don't need it the clock is here 
some things go away. Ah, voilà. everything back. The week numbers. Ah, uh, no, nothing. Window title bars, toggle minimize. Okay, windows. Edge tiling, it's on. If you think the color is not distinctive enough against the other gray, you choose something lighter, right? This is now a little bit dark. I must admit that. Voila, some tweaks. We have already another design. Now, people often complain about variety, but variety is just a simple a tool and you set the tool. If you don't want it to start when the computer starts, done. If you don't want to change the wallpaper every five minutes, don't select it. So yes, change wallpaper every five minutes, change wallpaper on start. And then the fun starts here. You can click this one on splash and so on and so on. But you can also add something. And that's what I've made a video about. And that's a wall haven. Enter keywords or pass the URL here. The keyword that I often use is abstract. Abstract. I'd like my wallpapers to be abstract. So don't want to see this. Don't want to see that. I've, we've seen our own wallpapers plus the GNOME wallpapers. We know them, right? It's a nice one. I know it's a beautiful one. But at some point in time, you say, I've seen it, right? I've seen it. So then you go to Wallhaven Abstract, for example. And then this comes in. And let's go for this. That comes in, that comes in, this comes in, that comes in, that comes in, this comes in. And I have zero efforts of getting wallpapers. Zero, comma, zero, comma, zero. They just come in all the time and I switch. And there are some keyboard shortcuts for you to know. Alt N and Alt P from previous and from next and so on. Alt arrow up. Let's stop today. We keep this one and so on. So it is really super easy to actually have something. Ah, look at the font here. Have something nice and without much ado. Without much ado is a play from Shakespeare. <laughs> Et voilà. Anything else? So variety is there. Don't like variety. Pseudo Pac-Man minus R. Bye. But use it. Use the power of the machine. It's there. And it's also going to work on all the 25 desktops. Ah, that matters, right? Setting it the way you want. What else would you do? There are many things to make this better i mean there are some things i'm not that much into gnome i must say i've used it but not uh, on a daily basis there are gnome extensions that are interesting to have a look at gnome extensions i agree gnome shell extensions and here is a lot probably a lot that's working and also probably a lot that's not working so click here to install the browser extension so you can add continue to installation add allow this in a private menu okay so i've got myself now an extension and then um sort by popularity okay maybe yeah from user directories app indicator extension list Application menu, caffeine maybe, yeah, caffeine. System monitor. You feel you have the need to do a search filter like thing, right? So you, when you go shopping, you have all these filters, those brands and those desktops and those, I don't know, things like that. Kind of miss it. Here is something maybe that's interesting. Arch Linux updates indicator. Let's give it a try just showing you that this button is awesome if you have this right then this button is off and on you must admit ah that's nice <laughs> and we got here 
something new. Check now. Oh, check. Update now, check now, up to date. Settings. And the settings are what the settings are, right? You can change some things. If it breaks, it breaks. You tell the developer, this guy, Raphael, tell him, hey, it's not working anymore. But basically, you are, well, make an account, log in. Then you can tell him. And there is too much, right? 166 pages. So we, we, we sometimes you can Google it, right? Best GNOME shell extensions and, and stuff like that and find something. But maybe there is something in there that has been written yesterday. That's awesome. But it's gonna be in here somewhere, 166 pages. That's a bit silly. Espresso, a new name for caffeine, I guess. <laughs> Draw on your screen, yeah, sure, no, thanks. And so on, and so on. Okay, so you be my guest and, and, and find some stuff um, that you like and install it extra. I have this little icon up here. It's a little dark, but okay. Not much I can do, I guess, about icons. Unless, unless, right, unless. He gives us a setting that we can change the indicator always visible use built-in icons uh huh nothing changes and show updates and so on so it has to be here otherwise no fun all right guys gnome out enjoy it think about wayland make your decision Xorg or Wayland, see that it works, but remember the choice you have. All right, cheers.